सो वेलकम बैक गैसी लवर्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट अवेटेड वीडियो बिकॉज शाओ इज कमिंग एंड शाओ गाइड इज नॉट हियर सो दैट्स आई क्रिएटेड दिस वीडियो बिकॉज आई एम ए शाओ मीन एज पर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टूवर्ड्स द वीडियो सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट हिज टैलेंट्स सो एज यू कैन सी ऑन हिज टैलेंट्स हिज नॉर्मल टैक्स Shao's first talent preference is normal attack because whole damage of Shao is come from his normal attack. Even also his damage damage in his alt alt mid elemental burst and so far you can see wind cycling and bane of all evil. So he is the the conqueror of demons as you know the story of Liu Bei and as you can see. This is his most percent potential of alt because alt is the second preference and you must uh, level up equally normal attack and his alt. So as per his elemental skill, wind cycling that you can dash in air, shing shing, like that. So you can only uh, have to crown it if you are having a C six Shao or. You are uh, just a shower man. I am a shower man, but still I have not crowned it because it's. I don't think so. I have to crown it as well. As for his other passive, this is passive which increases alt damage when he is in alt. You can get maximum twenty five percent damage from it, as you can read it there. It all gets taxed per three seconds, and so for another passive that is its wind cycling. Uh, so for this is it uh, decreases duration of his elemental skill. That's what it did. And so for the other, it's just uh, climbing memory consumption. Consumption decrease. That's his last passive. So this is my regular shower build that I have been using from from the new artifacts launch. The 2.8, ah yeah, 2.8 version. from that time having these artifacts using on him so for vermilion piece sets are the best for him i am going to so now i have added benith in team for taking down that cryorigic swain so let's take him down first then i will show you my artifact damage with vermilion With double crown, because elemental skill damage doesn't count in his art. So let's first do some normal attack for showing how much multiplier it does. So now let's get started. It doesn't crit. Now it crits. Thirty three, thirty three k maximum right now for. Now it's thirty nine. Okay. This is three nine nine. Thirty nine point nine k. it was his maximum damage for vermilion four piece now let's switch to other artifacts after getting some energy so i come back here but i didn't take reward so it not getting refresh so i am going to go to pyro resix swain for now i only had mona for taking down resix swain not for buffing so don't consider it so just let take him down first So he is down. Oh, not what? No, yeah, he is down now. So I switch to Shao, doing some normal attack and plunge, plunge. Thirty-six k, thirty-eight k. Okay, thirty-eight k highest weight two piece gladiator two piece anymore. So for the artifact stat. So as you can see, two piece attack, two piece animo. These are some my trash and good pieces. So now I switch to two piece attack, two piece attack. As you can see, so these are the stats. It's little bit more crit damage, but that's okay. So you can see the stats. So let's move towards our. Cryo Resix Swain. 
so I take him down. So let's do again our attack. And now alt, low plunge. Okay, 31, 32, 26. I don't know why. 32 highest, two piece, two piece. And so you can use this set, but there you have to use your charge attacks every 10 second. That's the only problem in it. Because I don't like to use his charge attack that much. That's why I only love to plunge him. Shing shing shing. That's why. I am not gonna show that because I also don't have any good pieces of it. If you are getting two good pieces from death pavilion. So you can use it on him. As you are playing reference. As you can see this is 4 piece where doesn't show who can buff itself. So I will show its damage. So now as you can see. Now I want to attack first. And now alt. And 27k, 28k, 29, 20 it's 31. So 31 highest. So as you can see he can do that much damage by where doesn't because it's just wasting hits uh months to artifact space you can use attack on it that time so let's talk about its weapon so primordial jet speed is best in slot for the other faster option staff of homa is also best in slot because crit damage calamity calamity is also high base attack weapon in in game and skyward spine gives you er so that's also good for shao because he needs because of the high elemental burst energy cost so as per 4 star as you can see lithic spear is also good because attack percent and that match is not for free to play but those who buy a battle pass that can have it good crit rate and the best in slot 4 star weapon is the black clip pol polar arm because it got crit damage 55% crit damage and I will show you in video that uh, how much damage a free to play can do with that black clip polar arm. You can also use white tessel because it's just like primordial jet spear 24% crit rate but low base attack so you can use beneath with shao then you can get that attack buff. So you can use it also because that's a free to play option that you can get from chest and pulse also. So let's talk about Xiao's team. This is my team that I used for doing big numbers with Xiao. And this is a free team with Xiao. You can use it. And for now you can also use teaser team with Xiao. This is also good team. And this is a you can use Zonglet place of Noel if you have it. And so for how to create Xiao's team then First Xiao DPS, then a healer or buffer, and this is the buffer's place, means damage increaser, and you can put a energy recharger or Faruzan at that place of Jin. So for this is for the Xiao's team build, and I'm gonna show you my Xiao's damage with backlift polar arm. I'm gonna increase my crit rate because I don't have that much good artifact on him. Because I literally don't have crit rate on my sum of artifacts. So that's why I'm gonna use it for just showing how much damage you can get. And 81, as you see 82. And I don't even have Faruzan. So if you have Faruzan, you can also get more damage in, use in place of Jin because Beneath can also heal. So this is how much damage you can do and get lucky for your Shao's pool this is what I, I have been saying to you guys so yeah, as you can see my build 61 to 38 61 is that adaptive one because 20 crit rate is increased and you see there are only crit damage on some artifacts they, that is low and so let's talk about our constellation C2 is trash C1 is good but C2 is trash, 25 AR increased and you can see C5 and C6 is only good of his and this is also trash, HP get lower, get defense, that's a trash thing and C6 means only shing 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 with his elemental speed 
so for this is video i uh, explained everything to you guys so i hope you understand it and if you have any questions then please comment down below and i hope you like the video please like and share and subscribe and bye bye